I am Tiara Perkins. I live at the foothills of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains in Crestone, Colorado. I have created I Am Harmony, which is open to the public at all times. It is a place to experience St. Germain's healing sacred fire and to experience the beautiful energy of Mother Mary and Kuan Yin. My information has come from the Radiant Rose Academy in Vancouver, Canada. My topic is entitled, Beloved Mother Mary. Mother Mary has played a most significant part in assisting planet Earth and all of mankind. Not only now, but going back a long time in the history of the Earth. Mother Mary was the mother of Jesus and the wife of Joseph, who has been Saint Germain in a past life. Jesus came from a faraway planet called the Golden Shrine Galaxy. He laid aside his soul and was born as a baby on planet Earth. His birth required many years of preparation on both Mary and Joseph's part. Archangel Zadkiel explained the process to be followed. Joseph was an Essene priest as well as a Melchizedek priest, so he was prepared to follow the instructions he was given. He was told he was to bring down a seed from his I Am presence into his pineal gland. Mary, as a teenager, was told the role she too was to play. It was necessary for her to be in a state of purity. This required her to have no thoughts in her mind. She had to be totally free of all distractions for 80 minutes as she placed her attention on her pituitary gland, which had the power of sight of the all-seeing God. Mary and Joseph practiced this for three years. Joseph received the flame of the Father into his pineal gland. Mary received the flame of the Mother in her pituitary gland. Mary received the seed and carried it down her life stream into her body. Thus, Jesus was born of the Virgin Mother Mary. It was necessary for Jesus to be born in the state of immaculate purity. The control and the perfection Mary achieved is beyond our ability to comprehend. Mary is an archangel and an ascended master. Her twin flame is Archangel Raphael. Our gratitude and our appreciation for her to be able to give this immaculate birth to Christ does not end there. The role Mary is playing in the seventh golden age is major. Her compassion, her understanding, her love of mankind is so great, she is right at this moment offering her assistance. She suffered so much when she was on planet Earth. She did not always know what was happening. When Jesus was crucified, her heart was literally broken. She experienced so much pain, so many hardships. She understands our human challenges and our personal pain. The role she is playing now as an ascended being in the higher realms is amazing. She has offered to come to anyone who is in pain, anyone who cannot find a way to forgive themselves, anyone who is lonely or ill. In essence, she is offering assistance to anyone who feels forsaken. The Ascended Masters never interfere. Because of our free will, it is necessary that we ask for help. Once we ask for help, we are to turn the situation totally over to the person to whom we have been asking to assist us. Mary went to the Divine Director and requested that mankind be freed of karma. The Great Divine Director, who is in authority over all elementals and all beings in our entire solar system, denied her request. He said Mary would have to go before the karmic board every day and ask for the karma for mankind to be eliminated. I am sure the Divine Director 
did not expect her response. She said, it shall be so. Every single day, Mary goes before the karmic board and requests that karma be removed from mankind. Another amazing gift of Mary is that she also removes the karma from each person from the planes of bliss as they are ready to embody again. Thus, when they return to earth, they are free of karma. What a blessing, what a gift to mankind. Mother Mary is also playing a major role on our planet. She is the temporary guardian. She loves and nurtures the special tree in Banff, Canada that was planted several years ago. Michael, the archangel, protects the beautiful tree and Mary gives it love and nourishment. Actually, Mary is in, involved with us every day. All we need to do is ask and she will be there. She works with Grandmother Anna and Mary Magdalene in helping us to heal the wounds from our many embodiments. There are also many other women to whom we owe much gratitude, to mention only a few, Kuan Yin, Lady Nada, Lady Leto, the 13 goddesses, the nine Eloa plumes, Meta, and of course, Mother Kasha, who is bringing in the rose pink ray of love while in grace. Their beautiful feminine energy is opening the hearts of mankind as love and light blend into a unification of power and strength. We are so grateful for all these great women who have done so much to pave the way for us and for all the things that they are doing right now to assist us. Their courage, their strength, their love, their light, their determination is a great inspiration to us. What is most amazing is that they are just a reach away from us, closer than arms and feet. They are available, waiting for us to ask. They love us so much. They desire for each of us to fulfill our destiny, as well as for the planet to fulfill its destiny. <laughs> 